Today we learn to use the compound microscope, which is this object that is here in front of me. This is an object that is particularly useful if you want to observe small objects ranging in size from about 1 mm to 0.2 micrometers. Just to remind you, there are 1000 mm in 1 meter and there are 1000 micrometers in 1 mm. So this is an object that we can use to observe cells, human cells, or small unicellular organisms, or also some small uh, multicellular organisms that typically we wouldn't be able to see with the naked eye. There are also other types of microscopes, for instance the stereo microscope that you may use if you want to observe slightly larger objects, for instance um, insects or some other small invertebrates. And then there is the electron microscope that reaches a resolution of about the size of an atom. So this is one the, the, of the order of one angstrom, which is uh, there are 10 angstrom in one nanometer, there are 1000 nanometers in one micrometer, there are 1000 micrometers in one millimeter, and there are 1000 millimeters in one meter. A microscope is first of all just a series of lenses. You have two ocular lenses here, and then you have the objectives here that you can uh, choose uh, which one you use, that are the, the lens that is closer to the object, to, the, to your specimen. And then there is another lens, which is this one here, which is called the condenser, and which is also important because it, it serves the purpose of focusing the light that comes from here on your specimen. Now, the first step is that you switch on the light here with the button. And uh, typically, there is almost no light when you switch it on because the intensity of light is, is set to the minimum. So that when you switch on, there isn't a strong shock for the lamp, for the light bulb inside the microscope. And it, it, it is more likely to be preserved. So you need to increase the light intensity, like this, until you are able to see the light. Typically, you don't want to have uh, the maximum intensity. Just make sure that you can see the light. And then uh, you start by uh, putting the microscope slide on the stage of the microscope, as I'm doing here. What you should do before even starting uh, to look inside the oculars of the microscope is that you can set an, the position moving these X and Y knobs inside the microscope to adjust the position of the slide on top of the light, I would say. So this is the first step. Now, you have to uh, set up a few things. The first thing is that it's always good practice to start from the objective with lower resolution, the red one here. So if you have another objective set, just go back to the red one. Now, you could start having a look inside the oculars, and this is something that we will do in a second. But you, you can also start setting them in the right position. As you can see, the two oculars can be uh, focused independently, and they can come outside or inside. In particular, this one, the left one, can come out. So before you start, it's good practice to set them to the same length, to the same distance, using, for instance, a pen to help you with this. Then you adjust the oculars to your eyes and you need to be able to uh, see the image simultaneously with both eyes. And uh, we have done this first part. One thing that we didn't check is that the image is unfocused. Now, by chance, it was almost unfocused. But otherwise, it is a good practice to start bringing to the top the stage here with the knob that is here or on this side here. And then you lower it little by little until you see your specimen. 
this uh, once I have uh, set the distance of the specimen the correct distance of the specimen from my uh, oculars I still need to focus the light so that the light goes exactly on focus at the position of the specimen in order to do this you use a small object it could be the tip of a pen here you have a pin that you can use and you put this pin just on top of the lens touching the lens like i'm doing now and you look inside you should see it as a blurred image then if you want to focus the condenser you bring it up like this here as i've done now and then you lower little by little and until you are able to see your pin perfectly in focus as i'm seeing now now you can look into the microscope and you can use the coarse and fine knob to adjust the focus and at the same time you can regulate the light intensity and you will see that more light is not always better because you lose a lot of detail when the uh, contrast is saturated. If you need to clean the objectives or the oculars, use lens paper. Once you have done and you have observed your sample, you just remember to put the light back to the minimum before we use switch off the microscope. Some colleagues also prefer to have everything lower down here.